Hi everyone, I am nail artist Bettina Goldstein and I'm super excited to be doing Vogue India's Beauty Festival 2020 where I'm going to be creating two completely different nail art looks along with video tutorials. This way you can recreate them at home. I'm going to start by applying two coats of silver polish on all my nails. and allow it to dry before moving on. An easy way to create a palette is to cut a piece of aluminum foil. I'm going to start by creating my flower stems. I apply a small amount of brown polish and dip and drag my nail art brush until the bristles are coated. Starting at the base of my nail, I'm going to add a thin curved line. I want to do two flowers on this nail, so I'm going to add another curved line coming out from my first stem. Next, I'm going to paint in a few leaves using this deep olive green. I'm going to start by creating an outline of each leaf and fill them in as I go. When I'm doing this type of design, I want to make sure it has depth to it. So I'm going to mix a drop of muted pale green with a drop of bright green and mix them to create this beautiful sage color. Now I'm going to go in and just add a little bit of highlight to each leaf. It might not look like much now, but it'll really help tie in the look in the end. It's all about those little details. Okay, let's move on to the flower. An easy way to add a lot of texture and dimension is to do my multi-dip technique. For this, I want to use two to three different types of tones of lavender and a white. The white will add a nice contrast and give the flower light. I'm going to place a drop of each polish on my palette, almost creating a circle, and then slightly mix the colors. I want to make sure I get a little bit of each color on my brush. I'm going to start by creating the outer petals of my flower. Now I'm going to work my way to the middle by applying short brush strokes and going back to my palette in between every other stroke to add more polish to my brush. Every time mixing it up a bit by adding more or less of one color. Now using the darkest color, I'm going to create the center of my flower and then adding depth by going back in with a lighter tone slightly on top of it. For my second flower, I want it to be a flower that's about to bloom. So I'm going to repeat the same steps, but just make it a little bit more narrow. And just like that, you have a blooming garden of flowers on your nails. I'm going to start off by applying a thin layer of a sheer nude polish on all my nails. Then apply a small amount of black polish to my palette and dip and drag my brush so that the bristles are fully coated. Now I'm going to draw a line down the middle of my nail. Next, I'm going to roughly sketch a curved line from the base of my nail to the top of my nail, creating a half oval. 
and then fill it in. I'm going to repeat on my index finger, this time using white polish and flipping the side of my half oval. I'm going to repeat and alternate between black and white on the remainder of my nails. Once the polish is dry, I'm going to apply top coat to smooth the brush strokes and protect from chipping.